from behind. Drops Neville on his neck, but Neville fighting spirit. He is back to his feet, catches the kick. Neville now, red arrow! And it's a 2.9, Alistair Black able to kick out at the last second. What is this from Alistair? What the springboard drop kick to the back of the head, and it's a dragon sleeper! Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's me, your boy, and welcome back to more PCW. It's time. It is time to crown the PCW April 2018 champion. And then at the end of the video, the winner of this tournament will have an opportunity to face Naito and Wesley R for the PCW World's Championship. If you're new here and you don't know what PCW is, PCW is a monthly simulation tournament with wrestlers representing patrons from my Patreon that are in a tier of $10 or more. Every patron that signs up will be assigned a wrestler and will be put into a bracket every single month and will have a tournament to crown a PCW champion not only for that month, but the winner of that month's tournament will have a chance to fight for the PCW World's Championship. We only have eight wrestlers left in this tournament, so this episode we will be crowning the April Champion and we will have the World's Championship match at the end of the video. And of course, if you want to show your support, leaving a thumbs up, timestamps and comments below would be absolutely wonderful. Let's go ahead and jump into this first match. We have Andrade Cien Almas representing Dean L making his way to the ring. This is his first PCW tournament and he has already made it this far and he is looking to make it just a little bit further as he faces off against Braun Strowman. Here tonight, Braun Strowman representing Mass Effects. Braun Strowman absolutely decimated Austin Aries in the last round. It was an absolute decimation to get to this point. So you gotta think that Braun Strowman's a little better off than Cien Almas right now when it comes to his health. We'll see how that plays into this round right here. But of course, Ref James is gonna be officiating this match as we get underway. Braun Strowman is going straight for the clubbing blows to Cien Almas and he's trying to end this Cinderella story as soon as humanly possible. Braun Strowman wants that championship. He wants that opportunity against Naito. Look at his delayed suplex on Cien Almas now as he's going to have to do something to change the momentum or Braun Strowman is going to run away with this match. He goes for a kick. Strowman's able to catch him there. Only a two count off that pin as Strowman now carries Cien Almas over to the corner near the center of the ring now where Strowman's going to go to work unless Cien Almas can get something here. Wait a minute. Running power slam. A minute 30 in the match. I think the Cinderella story is coming to an end now. No! Just a two off the running power slam. But Braun Strowman is completely overpowering Cien Almas right now. Almas is trying to get back into it with some forearms, showing some heart and soul. But I don't know if it's enough against the monster among men. Braun Strowman throws him up against the ropes. Cien Almas underneath. Good move. Forearm punch there. Off the ropes goes Braun Strowman. Big hurricane runner from Cien Almas. If he can catch Braun Strowman off guard, this is the best opportunity he's had all match so far. But Strowman's going to hit him with a headbutt. Pick up Cien Almas. Center of the ring here. Almas with a reversal. Some kicks. Not able to even drop Strowman as Strowman will catch himself on the ropes. No move there. Wait a minute. Cien Almas now top rope. What does he have in mind here? What the hell is this? Warriors way in the corner. Good God. Cien Almas is breaking out all the moves now as Braun Strowman and Almas are now teeing off in the corner. Big clothesline from Braun Strowman. Lays out Cien Almas, but Almas is able to get back into it, dropping Strowman down. Center of the ring. Whoa, did you, what was that, like a tilt to war I don't even know what that was. A tilt to war Hurricane Rana. I don't even know. Cien Almas is breaking out a crazy amount of moves this match to try to take down Braun Strowman as he absolutely needs to. Strowman with the kick drops him center of the ring now. They both want that world's championship. They want that April championship. They want it all. And they're willing to put it all on the line here. Braun Strowman may be wanting to finish this as soon as humanly possible here. Oh, a big choke slam just drops the Almas. And it's a 2.9! He is able to kick out a senton from Almas there. Another senton back to back. Strowman now center of the ring. Almas down for the count. He's woozy on his feet here. Wait a minute. Hammerlock DDT! Oh my god, did Strowman just. Strowman does not care about Cien Almas' finisher. Oh, dropping him on his face. That could be all she wrote, people. The Cinderella story comes to an end as Braun Strowman and Mass Effect 
in Almas' first ever PCW tournament. He had quite a journey. Him and Dean L had quite a journey, but Braun Strowman and Mass Effects will be moving on to the next round. Speaking of people who are new to the PCW tournament, we have Neville and Aleister Black, two people who this is their first PCW tournament. Neville is representing Sydney W, making his way to the ring right now as he is facing off against Aleister Black here tonight. Aleister Black will be representing none other than the Julian B. We'll see which one of these men can move on to the next round. Whoever wins this match will have to face Braun Strowman, but thankfully Cien Amos was able to get some damage in on Braun Strowman in the last match, unlike Austin Aries who went down like a sack of hot rocks. So I'm, I'm sure one of these men, whoever, whoever ends up the winner of this match, is happy about that situation. But I'm sure they're also not happy about facing Braun Strowman. Either way, we'll get this match underway and see which one of these men... Oh, he went for the black! Did you see that? He went for the black mass off the start! Neville got out of the way, but that could have been a crucial point right there. Good God, I did not expect that to happen. Aleister Black now with the kicks, dropping Neville to the floor. Sends him over with a hip toss. Alistair Black is through playing around off the ropes. Big knee there. Boston Crab. Neville is not going to give up. No rope breaks here in PCW. He goes for another kick as Neville's able to stop that. And now he's going for the legs. He said, you want to kick me? That's fine. I'm going to take them legs right out. Alistair Black has Neville up. Big brain buster to the floor on the outside. And he is telling the referee to count. But Neville's back in before anything of substantial happens. Oh my god, I thought I just had a stroke. <laughs> Alistair Black! Deadlift German suplex onto Neville. Off the ropes goes Alistair Black with a big front missile drop kick. Neville fires away with a forearm. Dropping Alistair Black now. Kick to the stomach. Alistair off the ropes. Neville is in control until Alistair Black was able to hit that knee there and turn things around a little bit. Calling for a taunt. Wait a minute. Oh, he's stretching Neville out. Is Neville going to give up? No, he is not, as Neville fires back with a forearm, and now he's going for those legs again. He wants to stop those kicks right in its track. I do not blame him whatsoever. As Aleister Black turns him back around with a lariat right there. A kick to the head drops Neville. Aleister Black in full control now sends Neville to the outside. Oh, Aleister needed to catch his breath for a second there. It was a smart decision there from Aleister. Neville comes in with a kick to the abdomen. Drives Aleister Black into the mat right there, and now he's going for those legs again. He does not want to hit, get hit with that black mask that he threw at the very beginning there. That could have been game over at the very beginning of the match. That would have been insane. Oh, suplex into the corner by Neville. Drops both men, and now we have a reset at 4 minutes and 50 seconds into the match. And now the boys are about to get into it. Punches from Alistair, uppercuts from Neville. We'll see who is the guy that comes out on top. A drop kick just drops Neville. Alistair Black in control of this matchup now. But Neville with a super kick. Off the ropes, baseball slide kick drops Alistair Black. Big body slam. Oh, this is right in the corner, right where Neville wants him. But no, he went for the baseball slide kick again instead of going into the corner. Interesting move, but I think Neville would know better. Oh, sit out powerbomb drives Aleister Black. Is that it? No, just a two count as Aleister Black's able to get out from behind. Drops Neville on his neck, but Neville fighting spirit. He is back to his feet, catches the kick. Neville now, red arrow. And it's a 2.9. Aleister Black. Able to kick out at the last second. What is this from Alistair? What the springboard drop kick to the back of the head. And it's a dragon sleeper. Give up. Neville does not give up. The fighting spirit of Neville. A cutter from Alistair Black. Another dragon sleeper. This man is putting it all on the line right now. Neville able to get out of another dragon sleeper. I'm kind of surprised by that. Oh, wait a minute. He packages up Alistair Black. No, just a two. Big Northern Lights suplex. Is that going to be able to steal it? Shouts out to Unbreakable 2005. No, that's not what ends the match. Neville dropping Alistair Black in the corner. Red arrow. And that's all she wrote. Neville and Sydney W will be moving on to the next round to face off against Braun Strowman. Wow, Neville picking that up. Alistair Black was trying to end that early, but at the end of the day, Neville was able to push through and get the win. Now we have quite the interesting matchup here. Two guys that actually know each other quite well. Even if you think they don't, it's the truth of the matter. 
We have AJ Styles making his way to the ring right now. AJ Styles is representing Hell Spartan Z in this tournament. And he is facing off against the big bad booty daddy himself, Scott Steiner. Scott Steiner has been taking people out left, taking people out right. The Steiner screwdriver has been doing the damn thing in this tournament, and Scotty is looking to move on. Scott Steiner is representing Joshua A in this tournament. Big Popper Pump himself coming to the... Check this flex out. Check this flex out. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. My man has come to play. We'll see what happens tonight between AJ Styles and Scott Steiner. Oh, my God. My man is going right off the start, just flexing on AJ Styles. It's an aggressive body slam, and AJ is already feeling the pain of Scott Steiner. Goes for a pin just to one count. I think Scott saw that as disrespect. My man's going to flex on him real quick. Drops an elbow right to the back of the head of AJ Styles, sends him into the corner. As AJ was able to fight out because he knows that's a dangerous spot to be against a man like Scott Steiner. Oh, he's going to go for the pin. No rope breaks in PCW. Just a one count as Scotty's able to get out. AJ throwing forearms. Scotty's going to be throwing some belly to belly suplexes. Scott, of course, is the older man in this situation. But hey, it don't matter when you pull out moves like that. Scott will do what needs to be done to win this match. He is not here to get a five star match. If he does great, he is here to win. He is here to be the April champion. He is here to be the world's champion. And I'm sure AJ Styles feels the same way here. A kick to the head drop. Scott Steiner now as AJ Styles is looking to start some momentum. But the belly to bellies and the bellies to belly and the belly to boogie to bong to bing. There's so many of them. Scott Steiner is breaking out the old WWE strap. The stuff he used against Triple H. I can dig it. Oh, and here we go. A breakdown. We'll see which man comes out on top of this exchange. AJ Styles is the one to come out on top. Drops a knee straight to the face of Scott Steiner now. And he is trying to make Scott Steiner give up. That's obviously not going to happen right here or tonight, I'm sure. Scott Steiner is not going to want to give up in this match. Big exploder suplex there to the center of the ring now. AJ Styles is groggy. Dragon suplex from Scott Steiner. They said he ain't got it. He said who ain't got it. Big tiger bomb there from Scott Steiner dropping AJ Styles, showing that he's got the moves. Yeah, he's got the strength, but he's got the moves too. Wait a minute, roll through from AJ Styles. No, Scotty is going to be able to kick out now as AJ Styles is looking to gain some momentum. Scotty is looking to stop it. They have a backbreaker there from AJ Styles. Groggy Scott Steiner, but Scott Steiner is going to drag AJ Styles to the center of the ring, and this is where Scott Steiner is going to start to shine a little bit. AJ is going to have to stop it. Pump handle slam drops AJ Styles now. A punch to the face, and he just floored Styles. Styles coming in with another roll through. Just a two count as Scotty's able to get out again. AJ is just looking for any way to get out of this match because he is getting hurt. Even if AJ can win, he is now hurt. Scott Steiner's putting that work in. Big boot. Scotty is calling for the end. We could be seeing a Steiner screwdriver, and if we do, that's all she wrote on that one. Big forearm from AJ Styles dropped Scott Steiner. Scotty once again got him up, flexing on him. Scotty getting AJ up. Another roll through. Just a one count. Scotty's starting to get a little privy to that. AJ's going to have to stop something. Big shoulder tackle from Scott Steiner. Drops AJ Styles. Wait a minute. Steiner screwdriver. That's it. That is all she wrote. Scott Steiner and Joshua. No. AJ just kicked out at 2.9. Wait a minute. AJ Styles with a reversal. He's going for the Styles Clash. Scott Steiner is able to reverse. Get out of the Styles Clash in the corner. That could have been all sheer. I cannot believe that AJ Styles kicked out of the Steiner screwdriver, but a Frankensteiner just drives his head straight into the mat. And Scott, <gasps> AJ with the 2.9 kick out. Now a DDT to Scott Steiner as AJ hits him with a fucking discus clothesline. This match has gone off the rails. AJ Styles drop kick dropping Scott Steiner. Scotty throws AJ out of the... He is not going to take a breath. Scotty is going to go chase him. Steiner recliner on the outside of the ring. The blatant disrespect to AJ Styles. Scott Steiner knows he cannot win, but he just wanted to prove a point to AJ Styles. That regardless, kid, you're in my house. Oh. I thought he was going to go for the Steiner recliner, but he hit a nice Steiner line there as AJ has him groggy. Another drop kick. Drop Scott Steiner right where he wants him. AJ... In control of this match. Well, he was just a second ago before Steiner broke out that splutter suplex. Here we go. Dropping AJ on his neck. Center of the ring. AJ's trying to get back into it now. This is exactly where he wants him. Center of the ring. AJ firing off with a punch. Scotty, big tiger bomb. Hits it flush. 
Picks up AJ Styles, who's a little groggy now. Pump handle slam. AJ's feeling the pain. From behind, no AJ Styles. Big super kick drop. Scott Steiner, did he get him? Oh no, just a two count as Scott Steiner kicks out. You can tell how much both of these men want to move on to the next round. Dropping AJ Styles, big shoulder tackle. Steiner, Steiner recliner, and that is all she wrote. Scott Steiner and Joshua A are moving on to the next round. The Steiner recliner put down AJ Styles, and Scott Steiner did it, people. My man is moving on. And now for the final match of this round, we see who rounds out the top four. We have Rusev making his way to the ring. Rusev taking out Seth Rollins in the last round, which is a surprise to many, I think. But it's Rusev Day. Anything can happen. Rusev is representing Nick J in this tournament, and he is facing off against a sleeper pick, to be honest. Rosemary, who defeated Kenny Omega in the last round. Yes. You heard the words come out of my mouth. Kenny Omega got taken out by Rosemary in the last round. Rosemary is representing Breakdown, and now she's going to try to keep the streak going and see if she can defeat Rusev here in this round. We'll see how things kind of go out. We'll see if things play her way or not. As Rusev, oh, they're actually going to tie up there. Rusev going to get the exchange on that and hit her with a little sidewalk slam action. Rosemary looked like she was going to do something, but saw that Rusev stopped throwing Rusev over her head. I'm telling y'all, do not sleep on Rosemary. Rusev with a big jumping headbutt drops. Rosemary, oh my goodness, the flipping senton. Just throwing Rosemary over his shoulder there with a little judo toss. Big German suplex floors Rosemary, but she is still getting up with the best of them. Rusev just dropped. Oh, he's going to go for the pin, actually. Oh, just a two count as Rosemary is able to get out of that one. Rosemary picks Rusev up now. Big chop to the chest. Oh, a big boot's going to drop Rosemary. Rusev wants that accolade. He wants that accolade! We saw the Steiner recliner win in the last match, but it doesn't look like the accolade's going to be able to stop that. Wait a minute, Rosemary going for that pin. Just a one count on Big Daddy Rusev. Another toss there by Rosemary. Kicks him right in the abdomen and said, just bring it. A belly-to-belly -belly suplex drops Rosemary as Rusev is in control, but another throw there from Rosemary. And the damage is starting to pile on Rusev here. He's going to have to stop this ASAP. Headbutt drops Rosemary. Big boot right there. He's going to go for the pin on Rosemary. Is that going to be enough? No, 2.9. Rosemary able to stay in this match. Another toss. No, Rusev saw it coming this time and just back body drops her to the floor on the outside. Rosemary with the forearm there. Is Rosemary going to get him back in the ring, or is she going to go for it? No, Rusev is going to be able to sidewalk slam her onto the floor. At least she's able to answer the call and get back into the ring here. A kick to the abdomen. Another judo throw there from Rusev. Damn, that was just a clubbing overhand. Rusev now with a kick to the back as Rosemary is looking to get back in this match now. Going for all the limbs, just targeting body parts here at this point. And now we got a fucking session. We got Rusev. We got Rosemary. Rosemary with a kick. Rusev, big in Zagiri. Rusev and Rose. Wait a minute! Accolade critical and Rusev and Nick J are gonna be moving on to the final four. That critical just came out of left field and Rosemary and Breakdown just got deleted. Rusev and Nick J are gonna be rounding out our final four. It is now time for the semifinals of the PCW tournament for April. That's right, people. The final four people. Braun Strowman who just deleted Cian Almas. He's making his way to the ring. He is representing Mass Effects. And he's facing off against the man Gravity Forgot, Neville. We'll see if Neville can take down the big man. I just noticed that everyone that Braun Strowman has faced so far in this tournament, Austin Aries, Neville, Cian Almas, he has not faced a big man, but I'll be damned if Braun Strowman can win this match. He's facing a big man. Scott Steiner, Russo, somebody is going to be facing him. And that's the damn truth about the situation. Five. See if Braun Strowman and Mass Effects can move on, or if Neville and Sidney W can get it done and move on to the finals. Braun Strowman going to come out of the gate here. Big delayed suplex lays out Neville as Neville drags him into the corner now. Neville's got something in mind here. Or Braun Strowman, just look at that intimidation factor, just walking straight out of the turnbuckle post. That's just crazy. I mean, I don't care. Oh, a big surfboard here from Neville now, trying to make Braun Strowman give up. That's going to be a tough job to do, but if anyone can do it, it's definitely Neville. 
Neville with an uppercut now going for the legs of Braun Strowman trying to take the big man down at the at the roots. It's a good strategy there. German God, Jesus Christ! Release German suplex since Braun Strowman. Braun Strowman is pissed, but Neville's able to stop him there before Braun Strowman goes a little too hog wild. Good God! All the rings of Saturn. We were talking about giving up. Is Neville going to get it done? No, Braun Strowman able to get out. And Strowman is pissed off about that German suplex. You can tell dropping Neville straight on his head. Neville's able to actually get up. Another reason. Is he going to give up? Is Braun Strowman? No, Strowman fights through it again. Like I said, if anyone's going to make anybody give up. Oh, no, but Neville reversed. That's the same move that knocked Austin Aries out. He's been watching the tapes. Big clothesline from Neville as he gets Braun Strowman in the corner now. Big DDT. Braun Strowman is just showing off. He is getting up the fighting spirit. But Strowman's able to fall backwards on Neville, who is going for a German suplex. Braun Strowman choke slam Neville straight to hell. And no, Neville. That's a two count. I thought that might have been it. Enziguri, but Braun Strowman just sat there. He don't care. Going for a power bomb, but a back body drop will send Neville outside of the ring. And Strowman, like I said, he is a pissed off big man. He is going for the goods here. Snap suplex from Neville drops him. Strowman back in the ring first. That's not going to bode well for Neville here. Big choke slam. And I think that's all she wrote. I think Braun Strowman will be moving on. No! Just a two count. Neville is showing off some ferocity here tonight. Running power slam. He is looking to finish this match. Is it going to happen? No! Neville, two count. Braun Strowman off the ropes. Back body drop. Drops Neville. Neville is woozy. He is doozy. My man is loozy. He is moozy. As Braun Strowman. Oh my God. Neville doesn't know where he's at. This man might have a concussion. Oh my. It doesn't matter if he has a concussion. They're going to get They're going to go at it either way. Neville, big super kick, drops Braun Strowman. Oh, he's on his back, too. What is Neville waiting for here? Front missile drop kick takes down the big man. And now Neville is in control of this matchup, regardless of a concussion or not. Neville will continue to wrestle this match. We will not stop this match. It will continue now as Braun Strowman looks to get his breath back. Center of the... Oh, wait, no, he's dragging him over near the corner. I'm not sure what Strowman has in mind here. But Neville, oh my God, look at the big man just drop Neville by running into him. Neville off the ropes there. Kind of threw himself at Braun Strowman. I guess that's a legitimate strategy. Why not? Strowman now big boot drops Neville. Center of the ring now. Braun Strowman throwing a forearm into the corner. Goes Braun Strowman into a sidewalk slam. It looked like Neville had the upper hand for a second, but that's not what's happening here tonight. Braun Strowman throws Neville off the ropes. Drops him again. Picks up Neville, who is looking a little groggy poggy. Northern Light suplex. 2.9. God, that was close. Neville with an uppercut there. Braun Strowman now looking a little woozy. The Enzigiri. Braun Strowman is following Neville around the ring. The speed of Neville is going to be an issue. And he throws Braun Strowman out. Neville is not ready to lose just yet. Getting some breath down the center of the ring. Strowman doing the same on the outside. We do have a 20 count in PCW, so things are a little different. Neville throws Strowman into the corner. Good God, that choke slam. Yo, Braun Strowman said that ain't enough. He said that choke slam ain't enough. He knows what it's going to take to put down Neville. Another choke slam on the outside of the ring. Straight to the floor on the outside. Braun Strowman knows how hard Neville wants this, how hard he is fighting to get to this final round. But another choke slam. Braun Strowman is going brolic, running power slam, and that might be it here tonight. Braun Strowman moving on. No! Neville kicking out at two. How is he doing this? Release German suplex from Neville. Is he going for that power bomb? Yes, he was able to get the big man up and put him down. And that's it! Neville has taken down Braun Strowman. Neville and Sydney W will be one of the two in the final round of the PCW tournament for April 2018. I did not think he was going to be able to pull through, but if the power bomb was just enough to put away Braun Strowman and move on to the finals. Well, we know Neville will be in the finals. Neville and Sydney W will be in the finals. We need one more person to make it a real finals, and we have these two people left. We have Scott Steiner representing Joshua A making his way to the ring. Scott Steiner has won had one hell of a PCW tournament run this tournament. And here comes Rusev, the big dog himself. He is coming to the ring here 
in this semifinals matchup. And he is looking to be the April champion. He is looking to be the world champion. But will he be able to take down the big bad booty daddy? Will him and Nick J be able to get it done? Or will Scott Steiner and Joshua A get it done here? Rusev with a big suplex to Scott Steiner starting this matchup off. As Steiner throws a punch and misses wildly. Steiner is looking to try to land anything on Rusev early. Oh, wait. Oh, wait hold on now. Underneath. Big boot. It didn't even drop Rusev. It didn't even drop Rusev. This man's on a whole nother level. We might be looking at Ultra Instinct Rusev here tonight. As a belly-to-belly -belly suplex. And then into a flipping senton. Scott Steiner said chill. But Rusev said nah. Big splash. This man is breaking out all the moves right now. Trying to make it to this final round. The Scott Steiner has a lot left in the tank. Throws Rusev to the ground with a little flex flex action there. Big spinning kick drops Scott Steiner now in the corner. Scott's going to try to bring it back to the center of the ring. Drops an elbow on Rusev. The accolade versus the Steiner recliner, which is the one that's going to get it done. Dragon sleeper now on Rusev. But Rusev is able to fight out of that very quickly, which is exactly what he needed to do because if he stays in that too long, the Steiner recliner is going to be double effective. And STF! I have not seen. Okay, Scott Steiner going for the STF. Big dog. Now the headbutt to Rusev taking him out center of the ring and going for the ding dong. That's something Scott Steiner. Scott Steiner's gonna go for it twice in a row. This man truly doesn't care anything to get to the finals. Oh my God. And now Scott Steiner is ultra instinct. We have quite the fight here tonight as they're firing off on each other. Rusev and Scott. Scott and Rusev. And this is going on forever. But Scott gets the upper hand but collapses right after. It looked like he used his last bit of energy. And now the accolade is locked in. And Scott Steiner is able to work his way out of that accolade. Rusev is half, has to be unhappy about that at the end. He goes for a second one. And Scott Steiner is not giving up out of the accolade. That is insane now as he presses Rusev over his head. That's a 300-pound man getting pressed over his head like a sack of potatoes. That's absolutely insane. In the corner goes Scott Steiner. Rusev backing up. Oh, looking for that. Reverse stinger splash almost uses butt cheeks instead. Belly to belly suplex from Scott Steiner there. Center of the rings where Rusev's standing now as he chases down Scott. He sends him to the floor. Scott's going to try to sit a, hit a reset here at five minutes and 30 seconds, and that he does. Off the rope, Scott Steiner. No, Rusev's going to hit him with a boot and drop him. Oh, taking down the Nutsa. STF locked in on Rusev. Is he going to give up? No, Rusev's going to fight through the STF. Scotty trying to change up his moves a little bit, but the accolade is locked in, and that could be it. No, Scotty going to fight out of it again. Wow, Scott Steiner is showing a lot of prowess here tonight. Rusev with a bicycle kick. That came out of nowhere. Big fall away slam from Rusev. Drops Scott Steiner. Now he's going to take a breath for a second here, giving Scott Steiner a second, but it gave Rusev even more. Oh, no. Oh, I thought he was going to go for that accolade again. I thought that was going to be it for Scotty. These knees to the abdomen are taking this man out left and right right now. Sidewalk slam drop Scott Steiner, but he's back to his feet now. Dropping Rusev, the back and forth action between the two big men, which will be the one to move on to the final round and face off against Neville and Sidney W. Belly to belly suplex from Rusev there. Throws him into the corner. Punches, knocks Scott Steiner out cold. It looked like he was going for the accolade, but Scott Steiner said, no, you don't, not yet. Steiner off the ropes. Goes for the Steiner line, but Rusev knew it was coming. Reversed it with a headbutt of his own. And now he is flexing. Look at this press right here. Oh, man, Scott, he's, he's powering up, people. We're seeing Scotty power up. Oh, right. Look at that, Scott Steiner flexing on him. Scotty now with a shoulder tackle. Steiner recliner. And Rusev does not give up on the first Steiner recliner. Hey, if he's going to get out of the accolade, he's going to get out of the Steiner recliner. You know what's true here. As Scotty picks up Rusev, drags him to the center of the ring, drops an elbow on his head, center of the ring, Steiner recliner. And Rusev fights out of it. I thought he was going to go for the accolade straight out of that, but he doesn't do that. Scotty now on the floor from a sidewalk slam, and we have a reset at 10 minutes, 50 seconds into this matchup. A punch to the face drops Scott Steiner off the ropes. Now Rusev with a Steiner line almost of his own. Now a Rusev line. Big exploder suplex on the Scott Steiner now, and both men are at a reset again. This is mighty close. Scott Steiner goal for the nuts. Wait a minute. Top rope Scott Steiner. Big splash. What the hell? 
It is a 2.9. It was almost over right there. Oh, and both men are down and out right now at 12 minutes in this matchup. Oh, he dropped Rusev. Big belly to belly from Rusev, and now both men are down again. You can tell they're both on their last leg. Scotty is looking a little groggy, but Exploder Suplex will turn things around for Scott Steiner now, who has Rusev where he wants him. Another punch just floors Rusev. Rusev able to answer the call, but all the nuts again. Scotty don't care. Big Exploder Suplex from Rusev. He's catching his breath. He's looking at, he is getting into the final stretch of this match. It's got to be. Big Tiger Bomb there from Scott Steiner. Rusev, though, fighting back. Exploder suplex into the corner. Both men at a reset again as Rusev gets up and he's groggy. That's not looking good. Rusev drops Scott Steiner, but he's breathing hard. He's breathing heavy. This is on the final stretch. Whoever can hit this next finish, it could be all she wrote. Hell, it could finish on a regular move. Who knows? Off the ropes goes Scotty with a Steiner line. Scotty from behind dropping Rusev on his neck bone, but Rusev's the one to answer first. Big exploder suplex on the Rusev from Scott Steiner. Big Steiner line. The momentum. Every time someone gets the momentum, someone reverses it. A big punch floors Rusev. Now Rusev's up. What is this? Oh, a suplex sends Scott Steiner to the floor. 15 minutes, 30 seconds into this match. It's looking tough for both of these men who are looking to both catch their breath. One on the inside of the ring, one on the outside of the ring. Center of the ring now. Scotty's flexing on him. Drops an elbow to the back of his noggin. Steiner line drops an elbow. The combination moves from Scott Steiner now as he sends Rusev to the center of the ring. Gets him down. Gets him back up. Rusev fighting back. Flexing, pressing over this man's head. Scott Steiner wants to end this match, but Rusev will not let him. And the other way around, vice versa here as we have another reset. Scotty, all oh, the face wash from Rusev. Big exploder suplex on the Scott. Scott, just the fighting spirit of Scott Steiner. He's dragging Rusev center of the ring, drops him down, picks him up, punch to the back of the neck. The man's out cold, picks him back up, pressing him over his head. These dudes are doing it down big. Rusev, uh-oh. Sidewalk slam, the reset at 18 minutes, people. 18 minutes these two big men have been in this ring. Oh, wait a minute. I thought maybe we were seeing a Steiner recliner. The headbutts from Scott Steiner to Rusev. He has not, no one's been busted open. These men have just been beating the hell out of each other for 18 minutes. Off the rope, big boot from Rusev drops. You gotta think. Oh no, it's just a two. One of them's gotta pass out from exhaustion here sooner or later. Rusev sends Scott Steiner to the outside of the ring now and he is chasing. He is not catching his breath. He is chasing. Maybe Roos is going to go for a count-out victory. Oh, no. Power slam there. Big pump handle slam as both get back in the ring at the 10 count. Into the corner. Big shoulder tackle from Scott Steiner. 20 minutes into this match. The Steiner line is reversed. Steiner now center of the ring right where he wants him. Drops an elbow on the back of his head. Steiner recliner critical. And Scott Steiner and Joshua A will be moving on to the finals. And our finals is set, people. Our finals are set. The critical Rusev is laid out cold. This man is knocked out. 20 minutes, 31 seconds. Steiner recliner ends the match. And here we are, the finals of the PCW April Tournament. We have Neville representing Sydney W. Worked his ass off. A PCW newcomer making his debut here in this tournament. And Neville is coming for this championship. And of course, the man that we just saw put on a 20 minute spectacle with Rusev. You gotta wonder how beat up both of these men are coming into this match. Scott Steiner representing Joshua A looking to take down Neville and take his time at the top, sit on the throne of PCW and become the April champion and then go on and challenge for that world's championship. We'll see which man can get it done here. Ref James, of course, been officiating this entire tournament. Scott going for a Steiner line early there, but Neville moved out of the way. Now Neville was going for some sort of baseball slide, but it looked like he hit the ropes. 
Steiner going for the nuts early. I do not blame him, especially after that 20-minute spectacle he had with Rusev. That 100% match, absolutely insane. And now he is flexing Neville. The size difference is incredible. Big elbow from Scott Steiner. You do not see this man go to the top rope very often, but when he does, this man does some big boy damage. Scott throws Neville outside of the ring. Oh, he's going to chase him. He is going to chase him now as Neville goes to pick him up, but Scotty is going to reverse it with a suplex. He could be going for a count out. Who knows what he's got in mind? No, both men back in the ring now at a nine count. Going to stop that count. Neville with a big Frankensteiner. Hey, shouts out. He knows who he's, who, who he's done his history. He knows who he's in the ring with. Scotty off the ropes. Neville now. Oh, we're going to roll through with the Frankensteiner this time, but no. Scotty said, I don't think so. I hit to the back of the head. Neville is just going for anything he can do to keep down this man, Scott Steiner. But these one count kickouts are not what Neville wants to see. A big Frankensteiner just leveled Neville. And that's a big two count there for Scott Steiner. He said, you want to do a Frankensteiner? Let me show you how it's motherfucking done. Oh, Neville with a big forearm in the corner. Drops Scott Steiner. This is not where he wants to be right here. Surfboard here from Neville. On to Scott Steiner. Scotty is going to have to get out of this corner. Scotty wants to stay in the middle of the ring here. That's exactly where he wants to be. But now he's in a showdown with Neville. The back and forth. Scotty laid out by all. Oh, this is not where he wants to be. Red Arrow. And no. 2.9. Good God almighty. That was close. Scott Steiner seeing his mistake. Getting out of the corner. Shoulder tackle there. Another shoulder tackle. But Neville saw it coming. Tiger Bomb from Scott Steiner, center of the ring. Oh, I thought he was going to go for the Steiner recliner, but Neville's going to reverse with an elbow. Center of the ring drops Neville again, picks him back up. Neville with an uppercut drops Scott Steiner now. Flipping him over, hitting him in the head with a kick. Body slam, center of the ring. Deadlift German suplex, but Scott Steiner's back to his feet first. Another body slam, and they're getting closer and closer to the, cor the corner, which is not where Scott Steiner wants to be. German suplex there. Goes for an enzigiri. Scott Steiner steps out of the way. A punch just floored Neville. And now he's flexing on him. Big Steiner line drops Neville. Into the corner goes Neville. Oh my God, no. What is this? Top rope. Big Samoan drop off the top rope from Scott Steiner. He is looking to end this match and be your champion. And that's what does it. Neville is knocked out cold from the Samoan drop. And your winner. Scott Steiner and Joshua A are your PCW April 2018 champions. Look at this as Scott Steiner is taking it all in. My man is your PCW April 2018 champion. Congratulations to Scott Steiner and Joshua A. You did the damn thing. And the night is not over just yet as Scott Steiner now has an opportunity to go for the PCW World's Championship. It is Scott Steiner representing Joshua A facing off against the PCW's World's Champion himself, Naito. And Naito, of course, representing Wesley R. Look at this man, Naito. He's been waiting to see who the April champion would be to see who he has to face. And I'm not sure if he expected Scott Steiner, but regardless or not, if the man expected it, that's what you got here tonight. Will Tetsuya Naito and Wesley R be able to retain the PCW championship? Or will Scott Steiner and Joshua A be able to go out as champions two times here tonight? We'll see how things work out here as both men are kind of feeling each other out right now. A bunch of elbows to the back of each other's heads here. Naito looks to be going straight for that head of Scott Steiner. He saw that tournament. He saw the beating that Scott Steiner took. He knows what needs to be done here tonight as Scott Steiner starts firing away with some punches of his own. An STF on Naito, who is on the ropes, but as you guys know, no road breaks here in PCW. Naito now with a suplex on Scott Steiner. Steiner going for a kick, and off the ropes he goes. Naito with a big drop kick, dropping him center of the ring here which kind of uh, helps both men, honestly. I mean, unless Naito has a Stardust press in his mind, and who knows what Naito's got in that mind. Nobody knows. Step up in Zagiri there, drops Scott Steiner now. 
as Steiner just picks up Naito and flexes with him. Look at those presses here. Goes for a pin, but not even close. Steiner's got to remember that Naito is fresh. This man is feeling frickity fresh. Big flip there from Scott Steiner, dropping Naito down, trying to get as much damage as, as humanly possible here on Naito. Let's we'll see if he can get that done. Big in Zagiri just drops Snyder back of the head. A flip there, dropping Naito too into the corner. They go. Scotty now going to try to drag him back out away from that corner. I mean, Scotty's been doing some top rope moves, but it's not exactly his forte now as he drops Naito right on his neck bone. Naito is staying close to those ropes, close to those turnbuckles. He knows that he can use it to get away if possible. Wait a minute, Scott Steiner, big splash to the back of Naito, going right for that back. Uh-oh. And now the boys are firing off the April champion versus the world's champion. Will Steiner be able to do it or will Naito retain as Steiner is the one that comes out of that exchange with the victory, but he drops out of exhaustion. Big splitter suplex on to Naito who goes for the pin. He saw that Steiner was exhausted and he's going to go for that pin. That doesn't work out for him. Pump handle slam. Scott Steiner drops him. Big backbreaker there from Scott Steiner who's starting to put together a string of moves. This is going to do big damage here. Big damage. Steiner now. No. Naito going to be able to reverse. And now we're center of the ring. Swinging neck breaker from Naito drops Scott Steiner. Naito goes from behind, throws him into the turnbuckle. Snap, suplex. I thought he was going to look for something in the corner, but it looked like he was able to get out of... Destino! Wait a minute, Scott Steiner fighting spirit! He said not today! He wants this world's championship more than anything in the world. A tiger bomb just dropped my man Naito. I thought it was going to be over, but it wasn't. Scott Steiner's center of the ring to fighting spirit is incredible. Wait a minute, Destino again! And is that it all? Is that it? Is that it? Oh, 2.9 Scott Steiner able to kick out. The pure determination from this man, Scott Steiner. He wants Joshua A to be the world's champion. And damn it, he is going for it now. Naito rolling out on Scott. He knows just a two count. Off the ropes goes Scott. Big Frankensteiner straight into a head spike there. But Scott, st wait a minute. Scotty in the corner. Big elbow dropping it down big on Naito. This man's taking damage. Both of them have taken damage here. Big German suplex bridge. No rope break here in PCW. No, just a two count. Scotty is able to get out of the way. Swinging neck breaker now from Naito. As he continues to do more and more damage, Scotty now dragging Naito out to the center of the ring, and Scotty's flexing. Big elbow to the back of the head, and Scott's going to take a breather for a second, and that's where Naito's going to take advantage of the situation off the ropes. Now, big boot from Scott Steiner. Scotty throws Naito into the corner. Snido and Wesley R are trying to keep it together, but Scott Steiner and Joshua A are putting the work in. Into the corner. Uh-oh. Top. Uh-oh. Wait, Scott. With the reversal. Two. And now a big shoulder tackle from the top rope. And both men are down. We have a reset now at 11 minutes. And he goes straight for the nutsicles. And Scott's going to take a second. That's a good time. Oh, my God. He just straight up dropped Naito. Naito now in the center of the ring. Scott was... Good on taking that breath right there. A kick from Naito just dropped Scott Steiner. He does not want to be groggy against Naito. I'm going to tell you that much. Big spin kick dropped Scott Steiner. But Steiner's able to answer early. He went for the kick. It wasn't enough. Wow. Just sweeping the legs there. As Scott Steiner now trying to find some ground. Dropping Naito. Almost center of the ring. Flexing on him. Trying to get that power back up off the ropes. Big boot to the back of the head. Dropping the elbow on the head two of Naito. And now the headbutts are coming in. We have a string of moves here from Scott Steiner. But Naito's going to reverse with a forearm. And then another forearm. And we have a Frankensteiner in the corner. You know that does not bode well with Scott Steiner. Liger kick from Naito. Dropping Scott Steiner flush. Swinging neck breaker. We're in the corner. I don't know if Naito wants to go for it or not, but he has Steiner where he can hit that Stardust press, but no, he's going to... Oh, he's chasing Steiner, too. They go to the outside, and he chases Scott Steiner. That forearm drops him down hot. Another forearm there from Naito, who is just all on top of Scott Steiner. We have a... Oh, we have an 11 count. We have a 12 count. We have a 13 count. 
Naito, he answers the call at 15. Steiner goes for the Steiner line. Naito is able to step out of the way, but we are back in the center of the ring right here in a roll through from Naito. Is he going to be able to retain off the roll through? Yes! Naito and Wesley are just barely, just barely scraping by Scott Steiner and Joshua A and Wesley R and Tetsuya Naito retain the PCW World's Championship. What a match. What a tournament. Everything just went fantastic. Congratulations to Scott Steiner and Joshua A for becoming the PCW April champion. And congratulations to Wesley R and Tetsuya Naito for retaining the world's championship. Will they be able to retain the world's championship next month? We'll have to wait and see. Maybe the winner will be one of you guys watching right now. All you have to do is become a patron. You're automatically entered. $10 or higher. You know the deal. I want to thank everybody for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. Remember, if you did, leave a thumbs up. Subscribe if you guys are not subscribed for more of that goody goody. And I will see you guys next time. See you.